In computing, conditional branching is the concept of changing the behavior of a program based on the evaluation of a condition. The asterisk dial plan offers the same type of mechanism for controlling how a call processes through the dial plan. This is achieved using expressions, along with conditional applications such as GoToIf. GoToIf and other conditional applications can take up to three arguments. The first argument is the expression to be evaluated. The second argument is the dial plan location to go to if the expression evaluates to true. The third argument is the dial plan location to go to if the expression evaluates to false. Dial plan locations are specified in the same format as used by the go to application. You can route a call to a priority label in the current extension and context, an extension and priority in the current context, or to any specified context extension and priority. The parameters of GoToIf are not separated by commas. Instead, a question mark separates the expression from the destination to route to if true, and a colon separates the true destination from the false destination. If no destination is present for the resulting value of the expression, the dial plan execution will continue in the next priority of the same extension and context. A simple example using priority labels would look like this. The first priority in the extension sets the channel variable called test variable to 1. The GoToIf application in the next priority contains an expression to evaluate and specifies the destination to route to based on whether the expression is true or false. We know that a single argument to a destination must be a priority in the current context and the current extension. We also know that because the priority is a string or a word instead of a number that it is a priority label. Remember that priority labels are arbitrary and we could name them almost anything we want. The expression evaluates whether the value of test variable is greater than 2. If true, it will route to the weasel's priority. If false, it will route to the priority labeled monkeys. Because we set the value of test variable to 1, this will evaluate to false. The call is routed to the monkeys priority, where the TT monkeys sound file is played. It is also valid to omit one of the conditional destinations. Here we've changed the first priority to set the test variable to 3 instead of 1, and we remove the priority label of weasels in the go to if priority. Notice that there's nothing between the question mark and the colon, meaning that we're not specifying a destination to route if the expression evaluates to true. When there's no destination listed for an evaluation result, the call will simply move to the next priority in the dial plan. In this case, with the value of test variable set to 3, the expression is true. There's no destination specified for the true condition, so the call will move down to the next priority and TT weasels will be played. Weasels have eaten our phone system. Both of our previous examples had multiple priorities set up to call the hangup application. This is important because it separates the different branches. If the hangup weren't listed between the two playbacks, dial plan execution resulting in TT weasels being played would also have played TT monkeys right afterwards. It's much more common for conditional branching to be used to go one way or another, but not both. We can expand on this by using expressions to increment a variable as we saw in the previous module, and then create a loop using the GoTo application. Analyzing from the beginning, you will see that we've added a new label called Begin to the priority that invokes the GoTo if application. We've also added lines after each of the other labels setting the value of test variable to one higher than it already was and using the GoTo to jump back to the begin label. When this extension is first dialed, test variable is set to 1, and the GoTo if expression is false. So the call is routed to the monkeys label where TT monkeys is played. Then test variable is incremented, so it stores the value of 2, and the call is routed back to the begin priority, which calls the GoTo if application again. 2 is not greater than 2, so the expression is again false, and the monkeys label is followed. TT monkeys is played once more. Test variable is then incremented to 3, and the call is again routed back to the go to if. This time, the expression tests whether 3 is greater than 2. It is, so the weasels label is followed. TT weasels is played that time. Can you figure out what happens after that? Notice that we did not set the begin label to the priority which calls the set application. This is because it would reset the value of test variable back to 1 each time the loop is called, which would negate the value of incrementing the variable.
The idea of using incrementing variables and conditional branching to control loops is applicable to the IVR example we introduced in an earlier chapter. In the original example, invalid entries and timeouts will always loop back to the beginning of the menu, giving the caller an infinite number of attempts to select a valid menu option. But we can limit the number of attempts in order to free up the line if we've already let the caller try enough times. Here we've modified the menu to include an incrementing loop. We've highlighted the new sections. You may wish to pause the presentation to study the differences for a moment before we move on to explain them. We initially set a variable called failed attempts to zero. In the next priority, which we've labeled menu beginning, we check the value of failed attempts. If it's greater than two, we jump to the hangup priority of the S extension. If it's not greater than two, we continue dial plan execution at the next priority. Now look at the I and T extensions which are used when the caller inputs an invalid number or doesn't input anything before the timeout. Each of them plays back a message, increments the failed attempts variable, and then routes back to the beginning of the menu. If a caller fails to input a valid extension in the first three attempts, then the expression in the go to if becomes true, and the call is routed to a priority where it is hung up. This module has demonstrated a practical use of dial plan expressions. Conditional branching in the asterisk dial plan is a powerful way to concisely define dynamic behavior. Using expressions and conditional operators, along with a go-to if application, you can route calls in the dial plan to define destinations. One very common use of this technique is to implement loop control, including hanging up calls when a caller has failed to make a valid selection after several attempts. Next, we'll continue expanding the capabilities of asterisk call routing engine by introducing dial plan functions.